Comments, baby? No. Well, they're all hating on me and on my age and all this. So now the video has 1.5 million <laughs> views. Really? <laughs> and 2,000, 3,000 comments hating on us. 3,000 negative comments out of 11 million followers is only 0.27% of your following hates you. So, not even 1%. I hope I did that right because I actually cheated on all my math, but... But that still bothers me. It's but still baby, like... it's ridiculous. No, it's okay. I feel grateful that it's literally just that. Some people have like 30% of them hate them, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't read them all. Don't read them all. Like, okay, like it's easy. I don't have to read them. The first thing I'm going to do, baby, is read okay, them. What, the, what are you talking about? You were reading the comment non-stop yesterday when I was telling myself, don't read the comment. And then this morning when it got to 1.5 million fucking views, I was like, I'm going to read the comment. <laughs> and it's horrible. And it depressed me. <laughs> no, don't be depressed. Baby, I agree with you. They're all bitter, annoying like people that uh, I feel almost sad for them that, that they're that miserable. So what, should we make less happy content? No, like, what we're is not going to do anything. We're just going to live our lives still. Just post the happy content because we like to be happy and we like to put happiness out there because we never saw that as uh, kids. It's going to be okay, my love. Don't stress. And the worst is that I used to like Bob the Drag Queen. Bob the Drag Queen? Yes. I had no idea who the fuck he was before this. No, but it's you were not him you were that I'm that mad about. I mean, I'm still mad about that because you can make it happy being part of the lgbtq community there's so many You're young people that text us messages oh we're happy to see it's possible you can be happy in that community because that community is hell it's horrible I they see. all judge each other they all like it's hard to become yourself even in that community mm -hmm. and and most of the time, no one is representing something happy or something healthy. Of course, you do whatever you want that makes you happy. But where is that representation for for young people that you can have the dream you want? Well, okay, you're going through arguments. I'm yelling or you're not or this or that. But at the end of the day, we're together and we have moments that are happy. Mm -hmm. Yes, I and then if we're not able to represent that, who's going to represent it for them? Again, you're comparing yourself to a, like a micro group of people. It's very small. He's attracting people that are like him. That's his niche. And there's got to be a niche like that. Just like there's got to be a happy niche that we live in. And we attract people that want to be happy. And clearly, 11 million people want to be happy and 3,000 want to be miserable. So. You gotta just look at the numbers and be like, oh, okay, well, of course, there's gotta be some miserable people out there, and there they are. You see them, cool. Hey guys, I'm gonna keep doing my thing for with my 22 million people following me and my boyfriend. You know? So don't stress. It's, I mean, that's life. There's always gonna be shittiness. I'm just being honest, this really did not rock me to the core like it seems it has for you. Yeah, well, I feel like they're meaner with me most of the time. No, there's some really yes. shitty stuff on there with me, but... Just like really some bad ages thing. Well, like I think... It's all about the thing is, plastic is like... surgery, like my whole face is made up and all this, and I don't get it. But you never give me the time to, you know, I... digest the thing. Just I'm always sorry. like, move on. No, I want to digest it and I want to move on. We gotta digest it and boop it out. Yes, exactly. Okay. Do you digest and poop in five minutes? No. Sometimes. I don't think so. 
That's not true. Sometimes I do. No, you can't, your body just can't do it. I poop quick. That's not the poop from your digestion for five <laughs> minutes ago. It's that you didn't poop the thing from two days ago. <laughs> no, my stomach, I poop usually right after I eat. It's not the poop from what you eat. Did you really think that it was the poop from what you just ate? I used to think that they like, I, you know, because sometimes I ate a salad and then I poop out leaves. So explain that. You ate a salad the day before. You only eat salad. <laughs> Can we go eat pasta? I want to poop out the pasta now.
the space to do our dirty work. Mm -hmm. What I believe in, what I feel is like we can't act different from when we are recording or not. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that I feel like you're not showing yourself. You're just not. This morning, like this whole conversation we had, it's really what's going on between us. And but you don't show that. Yeah, but I said this before and I'll say it again. You do not create a space that feels safe. And I don't care who knows that, you don't. Listen, baby, we've been together for four years. Doesn't mean anything and everything we've has been changed. We've together for four years and we're doing something that I don't know anybody else doing. I'm in a situation, we are in a situation where I cannot ask anybody advice. But the yeah, only but thing I that's know what's, that's is what's, that- Wait, I have to pause just for a second. I'm, I know I'm interrupting you. But that's what's crazy to me is that you play the 30 year old and you're like, I'm so mature and all this, but then you're telling me, oh, I'm immature. So it's like, it's just a constant like bending of rules for Pierre. Because there's not one point in life where you know what to do. But you act like you know what to do all the time. You're like the king of wisdom. No, the only thing you always I know, never the only thing yourself. I know. There's no gray area. There's only black and white. We have to be authentic. I just think you we hold have to be ourselves. I just think you hold everybody to We cannot be gray area. It's either black or white. We have to be authentic. Okay, we you're have going to be in circles. Ourselves. You're going in circles. Do you see no, how many I'm times not you're going in circles? Yes, you're doing I'm saying this is our right, book, I'm not gonna Nicholas. Talk. This is our book, Nicholas. This is to, our life. Wait, it has to be real. Voice. I can't talk to pe somebody who literally just talks at people. I can't. It's ridiculous. Are you going away? I'm going to home. Let's go. Are you walking away? Come on, babe. Why are you walking away? Because I can't talk to somebody who talks at people. I'm having a conversation no. with you and you're not letting me finish what I'm saying. It's important. You don't let anyone talk. I wanted to have that conversation and you don't even let me talk. Babe, you've talked for the last 20 minutes. Just stop talking for a second and let people respond. I'm trying to say something, Nicholas. Let me say it. No, I'm saying this. We never talked no, about your voice. I'm sick of you making a scene in public. No, you're not putting I'm everything putting on the everything table. on the table. Lower your voice. You're not putting everything on the table. What you am I not putting on the table? You know that you're not putting everything on the table. Tell me what I'm not.
have noticed a pattern that we start to fight around our birthdays every single year. And I have to believe it's a pattern that you start. I just don't know why. Well, you know I get horribly depressed on my birthdays every year. Yeah, but how, in what universe does that make sense to make the other person suffer because of that? It would be a different way if I was taking out on you. No, but it was the same thing last year. It was literally, I think we had the same conversations last year in Syracuse that we're not focusing enough on content, that we're not doing this with content, that we're not doing this with content. It was the same thing the year before. We're spending too much money for our birthdays, blah, 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 blah. It's like, when, at one point, am I going to enjoy my birthday with you? Our birthdays are together. Like, at one point, is it going to be a beautiful celebration together? I feel like as the years go by and then we keep getting older, it's going to get keep getting worse. And it's going to become one of a time that used to be amazing for everybody. And it's going to be miserable. It's, you have to see the pattern, babe. I see the pattern because I know the pattern. So, well, when are you going to make a change and realize that Aging is normal. Everybody goes through it. You're not. It's not about that. It feels it's about, about that. that. It's about time. It's about memories that I don't have. But make them. Stop holding on to the past. I'm literally every single year we've been together. This is our fifth birthday together, I believe. It's been a fight to try to get you to do something fun, to actually enjoy life for a second. A fight. Mm -hmm. Every year. I know, Nicholas. And I'm sorry if I'm miserable on my birthdays. I'm trying to work on it. I am really trying to work on it. We're in literally Venice. Every single person in this world would kill to spend the birthdays in Venice. I know the privilege I have right now. I know how lucky I am. And I think I'm not succeeding into making it a good time. I understand it's coming from me. It's not coming from you. Yes, I get it. And I'm trying to work on it. This is what I'm trying to say. I see the same thing happening again. Well, let me try again. Give me another chance and let me try again. Okay. Okay? Yeah. It's a lot. It's just all oh, this is always a lot. And for some reason, always happen around my birthday. Always? We always fight like this around our birthdays. Like well, Jesus. remember the hate videos? It was around my birthday last year. But let it go! It's always like the you world is giving... Here's should, the gift you for your birthday. You should be laughing at it. You should be laughing at it. Baby, I understand you're strong that way, but I'm not. That's what I was trying you to tell you. It's I'm not like this. But it's just, I'm not like this somehow. I'm just not. I always cared about what people were saying, even though I was trying to pretend I don't care. I've always turned red when people was making fun of me at school. It's always like this. I'm not strong in that. When people come at me, I crumble. I really do. I'm trying to figure out that image that I can portray of myself where I don't care where I'm a bad bitch and all this but so far I haven't been able to do it I will try but I don't even know if it's myself I know it's I, I get it it's easier said than done I'm one to talk but I'm just telling you you gotta make the change now or it's gonna go on forever and it's gonna just be horrible mm -hmm. and you're gonna look back and be like it all flew by and I didn't even enjoy it Enjoy it. Let's go. How are you? I'm great. Are you okay on your birthday? I'm great. How are you feeling? Good, very good. So, I really feel like after I, after our conversation that I really need to appreciate my birthday. So I'm really gonna do that work and not fall into 
depression. So, after our conversation, I think that now I'm ready with you to always make it special. And I want to thank you for bringing me there, you know? As much as I fight it, as much as I can't always reach your expectations, I'm trying my best. I promise. Thank you. So, to make today special, cheers. Happy birthday. Thank you. Aging like a fine wine. We need to go get you a gift. And we all know you're a little bit picky, so I can't go and get the gift myself. So, we're gonna go together. I think you would like it that way anyway. Well, right now I just wanted a, a swatch watch. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go get you your swatch watch. Let's finish these and then we'll go? Okay, everything's gonna be okay. And thank you for taking the time to say all this and thank you for hearing me. So I really appreciate that. I love you. I love you too. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. It's like I want gelato, but I think if I put gelato in my body, I would throw up. One more time. I'm so sick of gelato. But you know what? In a funny way, I wasn't too gassy. No, I've never been gassy. No? So that to me is that I'm not allergic to the... But usually in LA, when oh, we eat ice cream... It's a shit show, literally. <laughs> I haven't gotten a swatch watch since I was like 16. Oh, really? Oh, right here. It's right here. It's right here. Ah. Oh. I got it. Yeah, Isn't it cool? It's so cute. I like how sleek it is. Thank you. Next time it'll be a Rolex. It means as much for me. So where to next birthday boy? Let's go this way. Oh. oh. Look how peaceful this is. Do you want me to take a picture? Of what? Oh, this place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. <gasps> oh my god, they put the gelato in the cannoli. That's smart. We'll come back. Is this dildos? What is this? Oh, oh it's sunglasses. Alright, let's go home and get ready for our little... Yes. Excursion. Let's go. Come on, little champignon. <laughs> Sorry, I was peeing. Hmm? Oh, I peed myself. That happens. Here, let me douse you. They always say, because in Europe, we do double kiss, so they say you should spray the back of your neck. There you go. Good. Smell makes such an impression on a person, right? It does. It always does. Let's go. Baby.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pierre. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay, uh, take the first bite. I don't know what it is. I think it's tiramisu. <laughs> is it good? Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm, mm, that's so good. Very chocolatey. <laughs> it's funny. At one point, I could not stand. Having people sing for me, but now I can. Uh, it's enjoyable. It's, like, it's getting better. Yeah. Aww. You deserve it, my love. You Thank really you. do. And it's always very nice when like, your little Italian family sings it yes. for you. <laughs> it makes it different. <laughs> Happy birthday, my love. Okay. How did they know? Because I told them. Oh, you told them. In the bathroom. <laughs> mm. Thank you. Of course. Cheers. Happy birthday. Cheers. Okay, let's do it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is so romantic, I cannot. Venice at night, my love. Like I'm touching the gross water. Is it salty? Let me taste it. Oh yeah. I think I got... Oh, it is really salty. <gasps> Look at this. Can you not? <laughs> Night hits different for sure. My turn, okay, so. All right, baby, you ready? Yes, coming. Show me your outfit.
god, it's beautiful. <laughs> so pretty. Cheers. Cheers, my love. Cheers to one of the best trips ever. Yes. I think it was really honestly like a, a learning experience for both, both of us, right? Huge, yeah. yeah. And I think we got closer. Cheers to you. Cheers to you, my love. Listen, I know that this trip was hectic and a lot and obviously the world sees us as like a really perfect couple and in my eyes we are but it's not because that we're perfect and we don't fight it's because we're perfect in the sense that we do fight and we argue and we have moments of disagreement but we work through them and we constantly come back to a place where it's love you know it's so easy to play happy for me, like, we're both actors, right? Mm -hmm. We both studied acting, like, we know how to do that well. And I think that, for me, playing happy is really comforting. It's really easy. It's really a place I find safe. But I guess now what I'm realizing going forward is that we need to show that, yes, you can achieve this happiness, and yes, life can be this fairy tale esque but it takes work and it takes a lot of maturity and determination and perseverance and resilience to get to this point. And I think that for so long I was so afraid to show that because I just didn't want to lean into that. One, from my own personal like fear of judgment, but then on top of that it's like, I almost found it irrelevant, but I guess it is relevant. I guess we need to think show it. I think it is. Yeah. And I think to me, our story is beautiful and I love it and I'm happy in it and I want to keep going that way. But now I think that I need to show what it takes, the commitment, the work, the confrontations, the arguments sometimes, the fights sometimes, because they are here and they are real and it is reality and it doesn't change anything about my happiness and my happy moments but actually makes them stronger when we're well, happy. it almost makes them more worth it more worth it and i think to me it's it's very important I, I like to see what you're struggling with i like to understand what you're struggling with and to me when i see you happy and and go through something hard and you actually succeed going through it i love seeing that you know so it's part of my fairy tale. I'm not gonna lie here. I'm scared of what our relationship being public can do to us. And it's just so hard for me to be vulnerable. And I get how it is hard for you as well, where you're coming from. But I'm happy we jumping into this together. But we're learning together, you know? Yeah. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit, monsieur. Love you. Wait. Was I lying or was I lying? Fancy places give the smallest portions. <laughs> it's true. Like that is like, I would eat five of those. It is a small portion. <laughs> it's less romantic than the movie. <laughs> than the movie. <laughs> Good day to you. Oh. <laughs> Happy Thank you so much. Mm. So let's make a wish for the bus. Okay. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one. Go. go. I love you. I love you, baby. Thank you for everything. I love you. Thank you for an incredible birthday. Thank you for an incredible trip. A trip and a trip. <laughs> <laughs> that trip was a trip. <laughs> I need a vacation from this vacation. Yeah, I need a vacation from this vacation. Okay. Ah. Good times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>